Welcome back, sports fans. Red Hot Mercer Baseball Bears ran into a buzzsaw tonight on the diamond. Connor Hines was in the ATL for all the action. Check it out. Well, they say sometimes you got to go backward to go forward. Tonight here at Russ Chandler Stadium, tough night all the way around. And we're not talking about the baseball. I mean, look at this. My man down to literally his last strike here with today's Wordle. Uh, spoiler alert, he did not guess today's word. All right, let's get to the highlight. It was a real forgettable night for Mercer there as well. Top of two, though, Mercer's Will Mapes. Yeah, he's going to lay down a bunt. That will bring home Antonio Brown, and it's 2 nothing. Mercer. Wesley Franklin, meanwhile, he gets a key strikeout to escape the jam early on. He goes two and a thirds with a couple Ks tonight. That was the longest stint for any Mercer pitcher. Move ahead to the bottom of the fourth for the Jackets. Steven Reed is going to take one for a ride. Way back, back, Karush. It's a two-run shot for Reed, and he puts Tech in front, three to two. Still in the fourth inning, this time Andrew Jenkins. That is a double off the wall in left field. That's going to play it another. Tech just keeps on cooking to make it a three-run Yellow Jackets lead. It's a five spot in the fourth inning for Georgia Tech. Bottom of the sixth, Jenkins again. Ground ball to short. Mercer can't turn two. Jack Rubenstein comes home to the dish to add another. It's 7 2 Yellow Jackets. Trayson Hughes gets his 39th RBI of the year on an otherwise quiet night at the yard for the Bears. 15 to 2. Your final in this one. Time to bounce back for the Bears. They welcome the only other undefeated team in conference this weekend to Macon. That's right, it's Wofford coming to town. Reporting in Atlanta, Connor Hines, 13 WMAZ Sports.